And hello, hello, hello. Hi, friends. Welcome in, welcome in. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. How is everyone? I hope you guys are well. Let me uh, make sure I have all my stuff here, like muting myself on YouTube. <laughs> And not pulling rookie mistakes. Hi, everyone. Um, so I wasn't sure I was going to come on today. It's been kind of a crazy weekend. Yesterday was a holiday. Kind of had forgotten about that. So we didn't want to leave to go to Brian's until we got um, all the mail out today. Um, which some of you didn't pay, and if you didn't, I'm sorry, your stuff didn't go out. Um, so it'll have to wait until we come back. Um, and some of you didn't hit $40. But that being said, we are actually going to be coming back in, in another couple of weeks. Um, let's see, what's today? I'll tell you exactly. Uh, I think it's three weeks from today. One, two, three. Yeah, we'll be we'll be heading back probably on Halloween, and um, be back for a couple of days. Robbie has some some doctors finally here set up. So while we're back, we'll get out more stuff. So anything you guys buy today will not be going out till that time. So just fair warning on that. Um, but that also will give you an opportunity to add stuff to your packages. And um, again, that'll be right around November 1st. So just FYI. Anyway, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um, I don't know if any of you are on whatnot, but if you are, it'll be starting Thursday on Brian's channel selling Y2K clothing and such, not once, not twice, but potentially three times a day, maybe some mini marathons, maybe four times a day. We'll see. We're going to play the days by ear, see how it goes. He did run a, um, a two and a half hour auction today around two. He just finished up. I just spoke to him. And um, so that's pretty much the plan for us. Um, Robbie will be doing all the packing and shipping with Pam. Pam will still be running um, Brian's uh, auctions that he does on YouTube, and she will be doing some on her own channel like she does now. So um, I don't know if I'll do any, any YouTube while I'm away, but always be notified, always plan to... You never know. Maybe, maybe we go one day to a flea market, I grab a bunch of stuff, and I'll bring it to auction. I don't know. We'll see. We'll play it by ear. Um, never know with T and Rob. All right. Let me say hi to everybody. Auction. What? I said you know with Rob. You don't know with T. <laughs> Shut up. He's such a... <laughs> if anybody is new here, welcome. And this is uh, the link to the forum, which... All you have to do is register. Once we have your registration, we give you a branch, which just makes you eligible to bid. There's no charge here to uh, to join our family. And uh, we do ship free at $40 spent. So for those of you, um, you know, that just buy a few things and don't want to wait for that, I can ship to you. Just let me know and I'll bill you for shipping. It's really completely up to you guys. Pat! Look at that nice thumbnail. I'm getting a little better at it, Patrick. I'm trying. I'm trying. Hopefully get to see Pat while we're down there in the next couple of weeks. We'll try to go live and do a little video for you. Carrie! Hi, sweetheart. How are you? KK! KK, I know. KK Tuesday nights usually has bingo. So for those of you that want to play bingo and aren't interested in buying, go over and see KK on her channel. Thank you for dropping all the rules and regulations, though. I appreciate it. Mama Beth, what's going on? Hello, hello, hello. Robin, happy Tuesday. How are you, sweetheart? Good to see you. 
Um, vintage memories. Yeah, you're all you're all good. I think I think for the most part, um, you're all pretty good. Junebug. Hi, Junebug. One more auction, then a break for a while. Yeah, it's okay. You still get to see me if you come over to whatnot. And I might pop on YouTube. I might just do even I might just go live when we get there. Just do like a little um a little preview and I don't know if you guys start bidding. Brian can't stop me, right? <laughs> just saying. Might happen, never know. <laughs> Jackie. Hi, Jackie. How are you, sweetheart? Good to see you. Margo, hi Margo, hello, hello, Dora, hi Dora, welcome in, welcome in, thank you, thank you for being here, found by chance, hi chance, hello, 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 back, where'd you go, KK, where'd you go, um, so yeah, so that's the story, here's the story. Um, Rob is going to be leaving me because we are going to leave probably like six o'clock tomorrow morning. He's going to go home. He's going to do some laundry. He's going to make dinner. He's going to get packed. He's going to do all that domestic stuff that he loves so much. Um, so it'll just be little on me. So have some patience with me. And um, I have what do I have today? So I have some figures, some action figures, um, some sports figures. I have a couple of one-off pieces. I have some purses. I have some clothes. Actually, I have some pretty awesome clothes here. We'll see if you guys are interested. Um, and then I have some, um, I have a Lemax piece here and some beauty, some books, some records. I don't know. We'll try and see what see what, see what you guys. I even have some jewelry here. I just found this bracelet. It has a mark on it. Just looking to see if it's anything. What's a dove? Avon. Avon's a dove on jewelry. I don't know. I don't know. It's just a little little bracelet. We'll see. I might do a T bowl. I'm really seriously thinking about doing a. This is a vintage purse from Taiwan. We'll maybe run that. Um, I'm thinking that maybe I'll put a desk table or some kind of table together. Uh, maybe before Rob leaves, he can put me a box together. And this way, we'll see what fits in the box. I probably won't put too much glass in it, but we'll put some other stuff in it. All right. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All's good. Randas, hi honey, welcome in. Thank you, thank you for joining. Kelly's like a dust table, you say. <laughs> yes, Kelly, a dust table. <laughs> All right, KK. I fit in a box. Ha ha. Um, KK, I hope you get a chance to come and see me while I'm down in P or up in PA. It's up now, it's not down. It was down when I lived on Long Island. Now it's up. <laughs> um since i will be there so again we'll be there until probably halloween then we'll come home for a couple of days and then we'll go back until thanksgiving um and then we possibly will go back till christmas too i don't know we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see it depends on where we stand at that point um Brian also does have the possibility of a buyer in the wings that potentially may fly in next week and buy the entire deal that's left. So that might happen too. So if that happens, you may see me sooner than later. We may come back down here and sell from his warehouse. I don't know. Um, just, just FYI on those developments. Stay tuned. You never know. And um, always a reminder about my Team T Academy. If anybody is interested in joining my website, teamtacademy.com, uh, I do send out daily growth emails, keep you guys inspired and motivated. Uh, I have an Instagram, which I'm getting so many followers over on Instagram. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A lot of new peeps over there. 
Um, and I appreciate that. I also have a YouTube channel. Haven't done much. I have a couple of vlog, uh, of vlog, blogs up on vlogs, blogs, blogs, vlogs, podcasts. Podcasts is really the word I'm looking for. Um, and, um, so if you guys want to join that, uh, you can just go over to the website and, and, and grab that um and grab that link and do that and uh what else don't forget about my great find for you both on ebay and on macari and on um etsy All right. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Just um, want to make sure I have my... All right, there we go. I have everything there. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Okay. I have the right form open. I do. All right. Lisa D, welcome in. Thank you for joining, Lisa. Thank you. Lisa, if you need to fill out a registration, the link's in the description above. You just need to fill it out one time. If you filled it out already, just let me know. I'll check the registration form. And um, thank you, Lisa. Appreciate it. Thank you for coming in. Shaney, how did I miss Shaney? Hi, Shaney, honey. Good to see you. Shaney, I don't remember if you answered me the other day. Were you the one who bought the bird feeders from me? Asking for a friend. <laughs> Thank you, Randis. Randis, don't I have you wrenched? I thought I wrenched you already. Did I not wrench you? I know you did. I'm sorry. Thought you did anyway. Yeah, I should have. I'm sorry about that. I thought I got you the other day when you were here. Let me let me take care of that for you. No worries. Yeah, no reason to re um Aw, well welcome in Lisa. Thank you for joining. Okay. And so guys, we make you just a standard moderator, which basically means you don't need to have any moderating duties. It's um it's just it tells us that we have your information to bid. I go off of the information here, even though you're um, you really should keep your other information up to date in your PayPal. Um, it's best if I have your information here. Um, also here, too, in case somebody doesn't use PayPal and they want to pay Cash App, Venmo, or Zelle, just let me know ahead of time and we'll... Um, T, I've been hocking you out on my channel. <laughs> okay, hollering? I'm not sure. Hocking you out. Hope that doesn't say hooking me out. <laughs> that could be a problem, KK. You might be losing subscribers. <laughs> Hopefully it means shouting or something there. She's hooking you out, right, Carrie? <laughs> KK, you don't want to lose subscribers, KK. <laughs> Fair warning. Lucinda! Hi, sweet friend. How are you, honey? Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, you don't you don't want to be hooking me out. <laughs> Shaney. <laughs> Shaney, behave yourself. Behave, behave. <laughs> behave. All right, guys. All right. So I'm gonna do a lot of buy it nows today. But there will be some auction stuff. Um, we'll see. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I do an old auction. I, I don't know what's best. Put a one in the chat if you want me to do buy it now. Put a two in the chat if you want it auction style. Put a three in the chat if you don't give to you know what. <laughs> Asma! <laughs> Hi, Ozma. Like, hawking a loogie. What? what? K Carrie, what is Carrie saying? <laughs> oh. 
That's all right, KK. No worries. As long as you're not hooking me out, we're all good. Ozma. Ozma doesn't give two. <laughs> hmm. Even I remember what the answer is about the bird feeders. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm just saying the next time you buy, you might find a little surprise in your box. <laughs> just saying. Nothing big. Just I uh, may have found a few. <laughs> a flying, you know. All right. All right, Ozma. Relax. Carrie's the only one that gives to. All right, Carrie. Carrie said auction. What did was wait. Was one buy it now or was one auction? <laughs> I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention to myself. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to myself. What's today? 10-10. Like 10-10 wins. That was a channel on Long Island. I am a mess, Carrie. It was buy it now. All right. All right. All right. All right. Tuesday, 10-10, 5 p.m. Eastern. With just tea. Two dollar buy. One was auction, two was buy it now. Carrie said one was buy it now. All right, who's a mess? Me or KK? <laughs> it doesn't matter. You guys didn't answer me anyway. It's okay. Music, thank you so much again for the super generous gift. Right? One was buy it now. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. Lisa's going to think I'm a nut job. Poor Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. All right. Here's your wrench, honey. All right. All right. So one more time. One was a buy it now. Two was a regular tradition auction style. Well, if the shoe fits. All right. So one was a buy it now. Two was auction style. And three was, you don't give a shit. <laughs> and I think the ones may have it, but that's all right. Carrie's like, Carrie, Carrie, fresh. No, KK says bid, 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 bid. KK wants to type sold. All right. Well, well, we'll switch it up. We'll switch it up. Thank you, guys. Thank you, T. The etching and the poster are fantastic. Thanks again. Makes me go. How far is the drive to South Carolina? I know. Always fresh. Um... Asma, I wish, I wish I could come that direction. I would have, Sheep Picker's actually going to drive to Junebug. I could have sent some art back. I did send some art. Believe me when I tell you, Sheep Picker bought a bunch of artwork from me. Junebug took it and she's going to pick it up. I don't know if it's this week or next week um, from June. So I could have done that. Um, but I do have so much more artwork. I do, I do, I do. Dorney B. Hi, Dorney B. I know. You'd have to look through it all. I know. Welcome in, Dorney B. Um, but that's all right. You're welcome to. You're absolutely welcome to. Um, if you want to, um, you know, come down and um check it out at some point just let me know and we can make arrangements dawn i owe you a wrench honey hold on a second either i took it away or i never gave you one i'm not sure which is which but hold on a second <laughs> hold on let me get dawny wrenched up thank you thank you all right she's good and um rummage what's going on rummage all right there you go so let me know if anybody does want to come down it'll be a little um 
It'll be a little tight between now and the end of the year. There will only be a couple of windows of opportunity, but um, after the first of the year, we'll be wide open because uh, I am going to be a grandma again. So when we go back to New York for Thanksgiving, it's possible we may make a little bit of an extended stay. We'll see. And then I'm going to go back probably to Brian's again. Again, depending on what happens with the with with the purchase, we, we're not sure yet. Um, we'll see what happens, but I will be down there for the next couple of weeks selling on whatnot. Y2K clothing. If you guys are over on whatnot and you guys are interested in Brian, he sold some awesome stuff today for like really inexpensive money. Um, some great hip hop stuff. And that's what we're going to be doing, um, for the next couple of weeks. So if you are on whatnot, come over there. Um, I hope you will be dressing the part. Yes, I am rummage. There was a very pair, very um, uh, tight pair of jeans, short shorts, and a crop top that I said to Brian that I will have to wear to sell and get top dollar. Not. <laughs> um, but I might wear some baggy. I might wear some baggy sweats and uh, and and some awesome. Uh, Roka wear sweats or something. I don't know. Booty shorts and backwards hat. I would. I would do that rummage. I might. I might do that. We'll see. We'll see. Um, you never know. You never know. I. It's not going to be warm there. I'm dreading that part of it because there's no heat in that warehouse. And I'm going from South Carolina to... Um, northern pa and i'm cold already here in south carolina at 74 degrees so i'm in trouble <laughs> well you guys will just have to come in and see me i guess i don't know all right anyway um let's get started with the auction T's been on a roll lately. No rules. All right. No $1, $2. Any increments is okay. I'm all right with any increments. You guys, um, KK, I know you have to go to bingo in a little while, but if you want to drop that a couple of times, no bidding increments today or, or, uh, um, Robin, I don't know if you wanted to help at all. Um, Carrie, if you want to drop it, it's fine. 40 degrees. Ooh, Carrie says it's 45 there. Yeah, I know it's getting cold. It's getting cold. So I don't know how much you'll see me in short shorts there. We'll see. <laughs> I'm, I, I might do it to hype the crowd up. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, um, so we'll we'll just bid in any increments and um, just that we'll bid in any increments. No two dollars. No two dollar rule today. It's okay. I'm all right. If we do auction style, any increment is good. Um, we're just gonna call it fast, Carrie. Carrie, if um, if we only have two bidders and one of them drops out, let's just sell it, okay? Um, so if you guys want something, come in right away because we will. I'm heading out in 15 minutes for a dinner date. Oh. Oh, very nice very nice very nice well good luck with that vintage memories good luck um all right so um carrie yeah if you could just drop that there's no um there's no bidding today as far as uh no two dollar increments today any 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 amount is fine um marilyn Gotti, steve bynes Marilyn Gotti, Steve Bynes, and someone else. If you guys are lurking, can you let me know? No wolves. Oh, my God. Hold on to your hats. All right, Tony. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm going to switch my camera over. She should not tell us no rules. Osmer and I are here. <laughs> Hold on, let me, I'm going to switch, I'm going to switch up my um, camera. Oh, first I'm going to plug it in. No, it is plugged in. How come it's not in the drop? Ah, I don't want a mirror. I don't, I'm not sure why it did what it just did. Okay, I have to straighten it out. I had it unplugged because I had my whatnot from my record show the other day. All right. All right, first thing up for grabs. 
This is a set of vintage ethnic cookbooks. They are like new old stock. These things, I don't even know if they were ever used. The pages are actually still crisp on these. 1984, which believe it or not, that makes them 39 years old. How many people realize that 1984 was 39 years ago? And the only reason I know that is because that's the year I graduated high school and I have a 37 year old son and I know when he was born. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Cooking the Polish way, cooking the English way. Let's start these at 10 bucks. Cooking the Greek way, cooking the Spanish way, cooking the French way cooking the Vietnamese way, cooking the Norwegian way, cooking the Chinese way, and cooking the Japanese way. So there's two, four, six, eight, nine books. I don't know if it's a complete set, guys. I didn't look it up. I have no idea, but you'll get all nine books. Let me make my, my uh, camera a little straighter here. Actually, I'm going to move closer and go like that. How's that? There we go. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. And you guys, I will be going a little bit slower today just because um, Rob's going to leave now. My mailman just showed up and once... He's late, late today, guys. So if you've got stuff going out, he's probably not making the truck today, but it is on its way to the post office. All right. We have Carrie in at 16, Margo's in at 20. Thank you, ladies. I can't eat the book. <laughs> All righty then. <laughs> All right, we're going to be sold to Margo at $20. Thank you, Margo. of Kiss. This is Ace Freely. They're both McFarlane. And this is Gene Simmons. And I will fix the camera because I know there's actually a glare on this. Let me fix my camera. Sorry, guys. Hi, Jay. Honey, how are you? Welcome in. All right. There we go. Not good. Still fixing it out. I'm fixing it. Relax, KK. KK. KK, do you not have your volume on that you don't hear me saying I'm fixing the camera? <laughs> I can't I can't stand them up. All right. So they're going to glare a little bit. I'm sorry. I'll bring them closer so you guys can see. So this is Ace Freely. Nineteen ninety seven on this. And nineteen ninety seven on this. So that what makes it twenty six years ago? Something like that. Unbelievable vintage. $20 start on these. It's 
It's got wing snake battle staff. It's got a bunch of a bunch of stuff in there. McFarlane. Thank you, Jay. Yeah, thank you, Carrie. Yeah, we're gonna start. We're gonna count these down quickly. Um, so yeah, if you want in, just get in uh, quick. And this is the, gonna be the kiss because we're gonna keep it moving, guys. We're gonna keep it moving. And we're gonna be sold to Jay for twenty dollars. Congratulations, Jay. Thank you, hon. Thank you, thank you. All right, I don't know what the value is here. I had a bunch of these way back when, and I found another one. They're a mini license plate collector's board. Um, and I, I, I don't remember what I was getting for them. 2001. Um, I just have one of them just started at a dollar and just bid on it because I have no idea what it should be selling for. I really don't have a value on it. So uh, just go ahead and start it at a dollar and we'll just bid on it. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Jay. Hi, Susan, honey. How are you? How's your daughter doing? I hope she's well. I hope everything's getting better. All right, Carrie's in for seven. All right, honey. Your glitch is here. Okay, just put them on the table. It's fine. What All right, Jay's going to be out. We're going to count it down to Carrie for seven. Just put them over there just so I have them when I walk out because I can't put my stuff on there. Okay, what about the key? You got it, right? I have the key, yes. I thank you. Lock you in, so. That's fine. No worries. All right, we're going to be sold to Carrie for seven. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you for your bids, Jay. All right, and that's the Matchbox board. All right, thank you, thank you. All right. All right, sweetheart. All right, guys. I don't know if anybody's interested in this. This is like an old-fashioned... It does need to be cleaned a little bit. It's dusty. I always tell you, dust and dirt, it's got this plaid top on it. Dust and dirt is always free here at the auction. Here's the inside. Guys, there's no key. I looked. I thought maybe it was tucked in here somewhere. Um, I don't know if you can have a key made for it based on the lock. Um, I don't know if there's any value in it. Uh, because of shipping purposes, I do have to at least get $12 for it. Um, so we'll start it at 12 if anybody is interested. And um, we'll go from there. I'll give you measurements on it because it is a pretty large item. Three waters and up. Oh, plenty. Yeah. Yeah, that's plenty. Uh, so you're going to be, yeah, you're 14 inches across 
and you're eight and a half inches high and that's the top of it i can't lock it without a key carrie <laughs> there's no way to lock it without the key <laughs> but other than that it just needs to be wiped up uh i don't see really any major issues with it um I, again other than there is no key that's the only that's the only thing i see on it but it's very nice it is nice it definitely is all right kk's in for 15. thank you kk all right kk i just sent a box out to you so this may wait till i come back i i know i owe you an invoice but i don't have to worry about you all right kk there are a few of you that i just if i have it and i have it ready it just goes um because that's how tea rolls all right and that is the case sold to kk for 15 dollars thank you kk All right, awesome. All right, I found the last of these. We're just going to sell them all as a lot. I don't know if I have any sports people in here. I have to start this at 20, guys. Um, you've got Roger Clemens, Blue Jays, McFarlane, and this is 2003. Uh, major League on that. You got Alphonse Soriano. You've got one. You've got two. And you've got three on Alphonse Soriano. And then you have Jeff Bagwell, Houston Astros. So you got three Sorianos, one Roger Clemens, and one Jeff Bagwell. $20 start. There's five pieces. It is a Major League Baseball um, all of them by McFarlane. And that's going to do it with my sports figures. I think that's the end of them now. Um, and when I come back, I have a few extra sports things that I will auction off. Uh, a couple of signed bats, a couple of signed balls. Oh, I don't know what else. They might, oh, a signed helmet, I think, and stuff that I will um i will bring um for the new year maybe some sports cards i don't have a lot um i have to see what i have i have like i, I have some 70s i was holding on to them for the kids i don't know we'll see what happens you know you got some pete rose and some um uh, rice and uh, I think I have like call you Shremsky and uh, I don't know I don't remember who else like some some of the old guys you guys probably maybe don't even know who I'm talking about like a Vita Blue or a Lou Brock or Willie Mays things like that we'll see We'll see. I haven't decided that I'm definitely going to liquidate them yet. I'd have to get a good price for all of them. I might bring them singly, or I might eventually bring them to whatnot. Who knows? We'll see what happens. All right, we're going to sell these to Jay. Thank you, Jay. Jay for 20 for the baseball lot. All right. All right. I know who they are. Oh, I'm flipping. <laughs> I know you know who they are, sweetheart. <laughs> Guys, flippin has got some awesome stuff on auction on her uh, eBay store, including a great comic. If you guys are comic collectors, make sure you go and check in each other out um, on um each other's ebay stores um and follow follow that stuff for you know if you're following each other help 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 us out 
you know, it does help. This has still got paper in it. It's packed up. Let me see who this is. Um, oh, this is just an apartment nine, I think. But it's got a magnetic clutch top. It's a cute little black um, style bag. It's got the, the chains and the handles here. Um, nice size. And... Um, I'll do it for $15 on a buy it now if anybody wants it. It's really in nice condition. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. Hi, Gail. How are you, sweetheart? Good to see you. Margo, you want a sweetheart? You got it. All right, sold to Margo. All right. I'm going to come on the screen for a few. I got a couple of uh, I got a couple of pieces of clothing. Let's see if you guys are interested in these. Um, this is a Ruby Ruby Road extra large kind of a pretty red like a cape won't work for me because my arms are too long for this stuff i can never wear this kind of stuff but it's got the button here easy peasy says Junebug. yay Junebug. Junebug's cross-posting over on Posh and Macari. She's getting it done. She figured it out. Um, I don't know what kind of material this is. Let me give you a... Um, it is dry clean only. I will tell you that. It's wool. It is wool. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. How about five dollars? I know she figured it out all by herself. So again, ruby red wool, extra large, five dollars. Yeah, mine have picked up too. All right, no interest in the jacket. All right, we'll move on. If you change your mind, let me know. All right, this one is New York and Company. Carrie, you want it, sweetheart? You got it, babe. All right, Carrie's going to take that. Carrie for five. Thank you, Carrie. That was the ruby red wool. Okay. I see it, Carrie. Thank you, sweetheart. All right. New York and Company. This one is a size small. It's 100% silk. Yeah, Macari, I hear her. Macari's been doing great. Um, for whatever reason... Um, people are buying over on Macari. So if you guys aren't cross posting, you should. Now Flip's got a free app. I know some of you use Vendu, some of you use List Perfectly, but I use Flip. I like Flip. Um, I haven't really cross posted in a while, been really bad, but when I'm in the car tomorrow for 10 hours going to Brian's, I'm going to be cross posting. Um, all right. 
Who likes it for $3? We'll sell it for $3 on a buy it now. I think it's well worth it. It's silk. It's silk, guys. $3 buy it now. Pre-owned, but I don't see any issues with it. Just a nice flowy skirt if somebody wants it. Yeah. Yes, Junebug, you should be doing good. All right, so buy it now on, on the silk skirt. Almost like a paisley type of design. $3. If anybody wants it, just let us know. Just, just put skirt in the chat if you want it for three. All right. This is called L-I-L-D-Y. Lid. Lil D. Lil D. Okay. Large, extra large. Print pocket swing tunic. Just a cute. It's really cute. I love the feel of it. And I don't think it's anything special. It's poly and spandex, actually. So there is a little stretch in it. Um, it says it's large to extra large. It's just really nice. It actually feels like it hasn't been washed. I'd almost call this flipping you want the skirt, honey. All right, you got it. I actually feel like this one is um, un, un, unworn or at least unwashed. Um, and let's do $4 on this one. I just think it, there's something really cute and, and nice and feels nice. The material feels nice. And I think you could sell this as new without tags. Oh, there's little pockets in the side too. Oh, cute. Cute. So there's little pockets in the side of this. Junebug, you want it for four, honey? All right, you got it. All right. It's a dress, June. But okay. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. All right. That's going to go to Jim. All right. This one here is no boundaries. Extra large. It says 1517. Is that teens? I don't know. 1517. That's kind of a little weird size to me. No boundaries. Cute. It's got um, the ties here in the front. It's teen. It is teen. Okay, juniors. And it's got the flowy arms. It's a, Oh, it's probably new without tags. It's still got the little, uh, the little piece here. I'll do it for three if anybody wants it. Just put no boundaries in there or teen. I'll take either or teen or no boundaries. Oh no, June bug. June bug. Don't get us sick, June. What's going on with you, girl? Uh, you better check your sugar. Better not be anything to do with your sugar. Robbie said he took me out waters and I don't see one. All right, if anybody changes their minds, let me know. I'm going to grab my water for a minute. I'm sorry. Take, not leave me alone. Oh, yes, he did. He put them back in the fridge. Okay. Probably is. Jumbog. That's not even funny, honey. All right, KK, have a good, have a good uh, auction, uh, bingo. Honey, have a good bingo. One size. Polly and Rayon, made in India. It's paisley. It's got little fringes on it. It's like a little robe or coverall. And we'll do four on this one. Made in India. Polly and Rayon. Yeah, it's like a little kimono, right? 
it's cute. Cute, cute, cute. All right. If anybody wants it, let me know. All right. This one is Tessera. T-A-C-E-R-A. It's an extra large. T-A-C-E-R-A. It's like a really pretty boho -y style dress. Five dollars on this if you want it. Beige lining, beige underneath, whatever you want to call it. Really pretty. And it's hundred percent poly. And it is machine washable. Five dollars on this. I don't see a thing wrong with it. I don't see a pull, nothing going on here. Extra large, pretty lace at the bottom. Just a nice little um, dress if anybody wants it. All right. It's like a big sweater. It's got some buttons on here. It's got some pockets. It's got some fringes. The only thing it doesn't have is a tag. Yes, there is a tag. There is a tag. 3X it says it is. Maybe, maybe not. You might want to wear this big. Khaki, K-A-K-H-A-K-I, -K -A -K Khaki, 3X, 100% acrylic. It does say to hand wash this. KK, you want the, uh, can I have the kimono for $4? All right. KK, what do you want, this? KK, is this what you wanted, sweetheart? Let me know. Yes. Okay. You got it, babe. It's yours. All right. KK for the khaki. That's what that was called. K-H-A-K-I. All right. <clears throat> I was going to go a little, <laughs> a little more on that one, but that's all right. It's KK. Okay. It's all good. Uh, this is a dress skirt, rather. And it's definitely, I think, vintage. It's made in India. It's 100% rayon. Um, casual Studio New York. Um, I will tell you that some of these clothes did come from back in New York, back from uh, Long Island, Manhattan, Queens. New Jersey. I think some of this stuff came from um, a woman in New Jersey, but just a cute little skirt. It's got a stretch waist, but it is only a medium. Hi, Brian, honey. I'll do $3 on this if somebody wants it. It is 100% rayon, uh, made in India. It's Casual Studio New York. Oh, check the Lucy. All right. Okay, Lucy. Thank you, sweetheart. Welcome in. Everybody welcome Lucy. Thank you for coming in, Lucy. Yep, Lucy is good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's wrench up. Jay, you want the skirt, honey? It's yours. All right. And, oh, Brian's in the chat. Yay! There's Brian, Mr. Buys a lot. So, Brian, I was telling everybody that I'm heading down your way tomorrow, and we're going to be doing lots and lots of Y2K clothes three and four times a day on your WhatNot channel. And let's put Jay down for that.
All right. Awesome. We love Lucy. Ah. Well, we're going to love Lucy too, I'm sure. I'm sure of it. All right, this is another skirt. This is cute too. Another boho -y style skirt. Uh, size 14. Uh, shell is nylon, embroidery lining, poly, and it's called Sundance. Sundance is the name. Now, we'll tell you the tag. It's hanging a little bit. It's missing a little stitch there. Sundance. It is lined. Um, really cute. Can I have the link for Brian's channel? Cheryl, yes, you can. Brian, drop both your whatnot and your YouTube link if you can. Do you know how to do that? Somebody help a girl out. <laughs> uh, $5 on the skirt if somebody wants it. Five on this skirt. This is a really pretty boho-y style. Um, Carrie, you want it for five? You got it, sweetheart. All right. That's the Sundance. Carrie for five. All right. Awesome. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's see what this is. This is another boho. This is new with tags. And it's actually called boho. Oh, I asked here a few minutes ago to how to find out where everybody's selling. So Brian has both a YouTube channel and a whatnot. Thank you, Shriker. Shriker's always here. Thank you, Shriker. There's Mr. Buys a Lot's whatnot. Drop his YouTube channel as well, Brian. Um, guys, I'm going to auction this. Start it at whatever you want to start it at. But this is awesome. It's full length. It's new with tags. Going to KK later. All right, you're going to go play bingo. Yeah, KK's having bingo. She always has bingo on Tuesday nights. She usually helps mod on, on the other nights, but I know Tuesday. Tuesday's always been my auctions at five, so it's all right. And we promote KK. We love KK. All right, so here we go. It's new with tags, boho. It's a US size 16, if I didn't tell you guys that already. Here's your tags. Yeah, made in India. Made in India on this. Keep it away from fire. Okay. Yeah, it's a US size 16. Plus boho lace insert maxi dress black. Yeah, it's definitely kind of nice. It, it is cool for the Halloween season coming up, right? If you want to go out with the kids trick or treat. And <laughs> oh, it's got, it's got the... Um, the loop for the, and it's got full buttons. Let me just show you. You got buttons all the way down on this with the hook, hook and eye on these, not hook and loop, hook and eye. So there's all your eyelets going down for this. And here's all your buttons. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Shriker. Ozma's going to steal this away for $2? Nobody else wants this? New with tags? $2? Really? Guys, this is awesome. Wow. Pam's like, get out of the way. I'm in. And if you guys were not in earlier, it is a no rules Tuesday. <laughs> we're not doing any bidding increments this auction. I made that announcement in the beginning. We're not doing any rules this auction with bidding increments. So bid, bid your heart's desire. All right, we're gonna count it down to flipping hot finds. Ozma is out. All right, Carrie. Thank you, honey. All right. It's 
sold to Pam for seven dollars. Awesome. Thank you, thank you. I have another purse here. This is this is a nice looking purse. Um, it's got a magnetic gather there, and it is Antonio Milane. It's leather. It says it's genuine leather, made in Indonesia. So you guys can see that genuine leather always rules carry, even when there's no rules. <laughs> And it's Antonio Milane. My juicy, I don't know if that's a mark or if that's supposed to be on there. I don't know if that's supposed to be on there or that's just a mark, but it's kind of on the inside lip. You can't really see it. I bid in fractions. No fractions, Thorny B. We do whole numbers here. That's the only rule we're going to stick to. <laughs> All right. So it's got a couple of inside pockets. It is pre-owned, but it's clean. I'll show you the inside so you guys can see what you got, what your uh, inside looks like. So it's brown inside, just a little bit of dust and dirt. Always free here at the auction. <laughs> Thorny, you're, you're good, honey. You're good. Um, I don't know. Start it off. What do you think? Should we start it at least five? I would. I think it's worth five at least. Got your little magnetic top here on the, on the clasp. It's a good looking purse. It's leather. Five dollar start. Thank you, Pam. Crock purse, starting bid, five dollars. I am so thirsty today. Oh, I'm sorry. Margo came in first. Sorry, Pam. Margo came in first at five. I apologize. I didn't see Margo's bid. Margo, I'm sorry, sweetheart. All right, Margo went at five first. T, please put it on your shoulder. Okay, if you really want me to. If you really want me to, I will. And Pam, we are not doing any rules here today, so you can bid it any increments you wish. Not that we don't appreciate the $2, we always will. And you did. <laughs> Margo's in for 10. Thank you, guys. Antonio Milani. I'm going to write that down so I remember. Antonio M-E-L Milani. I get you lucky. I'm a tall girl and need long straps. Oh, I get you, Lucy. I wish the straps were longer. Yeah, I'm tall too. I'm 5'9". Well, I think I shrunk a little bit. I think I'm 5'8 and a half now. But it's all good. All right, Pam, let us know. And we'll count it down. Margo's in for 10. All right, Pam's going to be out. Let's count it down to Margo. Thank you, Margo. Thank you, honey. All right. This one, this one still has a, um, like a string on it. Like it was, it says Madison West, Madison West on the inside. It's a cloth bag. It, it almost feels like suede on the outside. It's got a nice feeling to it. Um, I, I don't even know if I want to call it pre-owned, but it's got this lock, kind of nice locking mechanism here to open and close it stiff-wise. Um, it's got an adjustable strap. 
So you guys can adjust the strap both here and here. Just a really pretty, pretty, pretty nice bag. Um, I don't know that it was ever used. Like I said, the string is still hanging off the handle here. Um, and again, it's called Madison West. And uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Want to start it at five? Feels very nice. Very nice feeling. Here's the bottom of it. I would almost say unused. I don't see any spotting, any staining, any any issues whatsoever. And again, you have the adjustable strap. Anybody interested? Anybody, 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 anybody? No? All right, we're going to move on, guys. We're going to move. Move, move, move. All right, here's another piece of clothing. Jay, you want it for five? All right, if no other interest, sell it to Jay. It's good. It's good. Sell the bag to Jay. What did I say the name was? Okay. All right, Jay. All right, count it down to Jay. I don't think anybody else was interested. Madison West, $5 to Jay. Thank you. All right. This is In Focus Woman, 16W. Shell, uh-oh, hold on a second. I should answer it and play games, but I'm not in the mood right now. It's a Long Island number. Nobody I know. They just, they, they call you with the same cell phone number. All right. And Focus Woman, 16W on this. And it's a cute little dress. It's uh, it's got the poly lining, just a cute little dress, and I'll do four on this if you guys want it. Four dollars for whoever wants it. Buy it now. And focus, woman. Five dollar. Buy it now. Ah, uh, four dollar. We'll do four. Four, four, four. I said four first. Got cute little pockets in the front, too. Not getting it for $4 at Goodwill. Just saying. All right. <laughs> If you want it, let me know. I'm moving on. All right. This one is extra large. That's all I have. I don't have any name here, I don't think. Nope, just an XL. Oh, these are adorable. These are really cute. Somebody was definitely boho. This was a lot of boho stuff. Carrie's like, oh, heck, $4. All right, Carrie. <laughs> and focus to Carrie for four. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Carrie. All right, so let me show you these. I don't see a name on these, though. I just see extra large. That's all I see. It's kind of got this little bit of a stretch in the waist it's got the the boho um they go with my cape do they yeah i guess they kind of match a little bit they do kind of match right
Yeah, they are kind of. It, it it doesn't really though, but it it is it is. You know why? You know why it doesn't? I'll tell you why it doesn't. The black is off. The black is off. It's not the same. Look, Pam. Okay, so here is this, and here is this. It's different. It's not even the same material. Look at the difference. And the color is off, too. Yeah, they're not the pants to it. See how the difference? This is actually, um, I don't know, this is a nice kind of style here. See this? See the, the thing? And then this is the K. This is the... Um, see? It's different. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, and you can you could just tell the black is 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 very different. It's 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 definitely different. I mean, it's the same style. She obviously loved this style, and I'll do these pants. Um, let's do these pants for I don't know five dollars for the pants. Extra large on the pants. They're just really cute, cute boho style. We'll do them for five if someone wants them. little bit of stretch on the extra large not much though and i don't see it feels like maybe there's a little bit of spandex in the pants dorney b you want them sweetheart you got them all right pants to dorney b yeah they're definitely cute definitely no doubt about it all right this is this is really different. Um, are these? I feel like I might have gotten these in Brian's Mr. Buys a Lot's Warehouse where the ladies were shopping on the other side. Celebrity Pink, this is called. I don't know the brand. Um, Celebrity Pink. Jay, we did that on a Buy It Now, sweetheart. I'm sorry. This one will auction because I don't know. I don't know this name. Robbie's gone now. Robbie could know this name. Um, Celebrity Pink, 19 to 21, made in Bangladesh. Um, it's got a really pretty flower with a top pocket on both. It's got snaps. For fasteners, let me tell you what the material is. 98% cotton, 2% spandex. And um, they're shorts, and they have big pockets here. And you can definitely feel the cotton and the spandex in them. But um, I have no idea. So you guys just started on an auction. Celebrity Pink. Yeah, some things like, Jay, I'll just do as a out now, buy it now. And some things I'll do as a, uh, as an auction. Like this, I have no idea. I don't know. So we'll just auction this off. Just, yeah romper and just um, bid on it. And if there's no interest, we can pass on it. I, I don't know. It's got your, your buttons down here. And I know it's kind of going out of season now, but doesn't mean you can't sell it. Doesn't mean there's not areas that are still hot. All right, we'll pass on it, Carrie. We'll pass on it. Cute little skirt, size large. It's got a zipper on the side. 
here. Make sure it works. Yep. The zipper is good. It is lined. It's 100% poly made in the Philippines. This could be Vintage Express. I don't know. This might be vintage. But just cute. Size large in the express skirt. Uh, above the knee. Flowy. $5 if anybody wants it. It is. Yeah, I thought so. Just could tell by the tag. It, it could be, it, it also could be new old stock, no, uh, new without tags because it doesn't feel like, it's hard to tell sometimes, but it doesn't feel like anybody has worn this. Hand wash or dry clean. Pam, you want a sweetheart? All right, sold to Pam. Okay. All right. It's a cute bucket bag. Uh, Design Lab is the name. This is what it looks like. It's got like the little drawstring in the front here. Design Lab is the name. Let's see if I can see any other. No, the other tag is cut out. I wanted to see if it was leather because it almost feels like it could be. Um, it's, it is soft. It's definitely a very soft. I don't know if it's leather. Hmm, I don't think so. But it, it, it feels like it, it is. It just, and, and whatever was the other tag in here, it's cut out, unfortunately. I'm sorry. So, but guess what I found inside? Finders Keepers! <laughs> all right so the bag's from 2015 no i have no idea that was the penny it's the only thing in there is a penny <laughs> so it's lightly pre-owned <laughs> um it it's hot no i don't think so pam i don't think so mm -mm. I, I don't think it does <laughs> Donnie's like, keep smelling it, T. I just think it's a nice purse. It feels nice. Feels nicey nice. I don't know, guys. Look up Design Lab. I have no idea. Do they sell leather purses? Don't have a clue. All right, it's got this. I don't know. Let's just do a buy it now. Who wants it for seven bucks? I'll sell it for $7 to the first person in the chat to put $7. Steal of a deal. Hi, Perry Winkle. If it's leather, you got a home run. <laughs> I think it's the Lord. Oh, I thought she was going to say she thought it was the Lord. I was going to say, really? Margo says, me. All right, Margo, it's yours. Thank you, Marco. All right. Oh, this is another one of these Lildy printed pocket swing tunic, new with tags. KK, KK. You're supposed to be playing bingo. <laughs> Hi, Lydia. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? KK, you're supposed to be playing bingo. <laughs> and you're lagging. You're late. He sold it. <laughs> All right. Lil D. 
and it's an extra large and it's a printed pocket swing tunic. <laughs> KK's multitasking, but she got in late. Yeah, so you got pockets here on this side. This whatever material this is, it's so it, and I think it's only poly, if I'm not it's oh, it's 95 poly and five spandex. It just has such a nice feel. The material itself just has a nice feel. I had another one like this. Did we sell the other one? I think we did. But um, okay, Pam's like, I'm playing bingo too. Pam's multitasking. All right, I'll do five on this. I have no idea about this brand. I don't know this brand at all. First person to put five in the chat, it's yours for $5. New with tags, size large. Oh, June bought it? She did? Wait, June bought what? Carrie bought this. What do you mean June bought what? What did she buy? Did I get it wrong on the purses? Oh, oh, you mean the earlier one? Okay, all right. Yeah, I was like, okay. I thought maybe I got something wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, this is going to Carrie. Thank you, Carrie. All right, five to Carrie. Thank you, thank you. All right, guys, I have some books. Let's get some of these books out of the way. Is Saxton still here? Is Saxton still here? She's going to laugh at some of these, well, especially the first one. So they're a little sexual. No, they're really not that sexual. All the books are a dollar each. Who wants the Battle of the Red Hot Pepper Weenies? Listen, I don't make the books. I just sell them. I don't make them. I just sell them. <laughs> and she's like, oh, my God, that hamburger book is hysterical that I got. Ah, all right. All right. So just put weenies in the chat if you want the book. Look great. Feel good. 12 keys. And then we have Joyce Meyer in the middle of the lot. Just saying. <laughs> just the tip, Brian. <laughs> Speaking of murder, volume two. Guys, just put some part of the title in the chat. All the books are a dollar, all right? If you want it, just put it in the chat. Just put murder. Pam wants the weenies. <laughs> Shaney's rolling on the floor. <laughs> weenies go to Pam. <laughs> uh, it's, I'm not saying anything else. <laughs> Flippin' Hud finds Brian's trying to call you. Who wants the weenie book? Yeah. <laughs> How about a woman's guide to rapid weight loss? I have no idea who's the specialty on this, but I don't know. Pam wants the murder. All right, Pam, Pam's going to get the murder book. Uh-oh, she wants murder and weenies. Brian, look out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, got got the got the murder and the weenies over here. All right, how about Fifty Shades of Grey? I'm too slow, says Jackie. <laughs> I don't have anything called red rum. All right, soulmates. Thomas More, Honoring the Mysteries of Love and Relationships. Donnie, we sold the murder, honey. We sold it already. I'm sorry. This is The Right Words at the Right Time, Marlo Thomas and Friends. This one is called Natural Cures. 
this is a $27 book pretty much um, I think this might have been those box books I was selling that were almost like a subscription type of delivery service. I think this is like what they are all about health wise. Um, but that's this one. Yes, it's murder spelled backwards. I know that. <laughs> Who didn't know that? How about Joel Olstein? It's your time. All right, if anybody wants any of those, I'll run through them. Carrie didn't know that. You didn't know that, Carrie? Really? Oh, Carrie, Carrie. All right. All right, this is called... Anyway, the paradoxical commandments, finding personal meaning in a crazy world. Yeah, it's a classic shining um, thing. This is Peace Kills, America's Fun New Imperialism, P.J. Rourke. Lindsay Wagner's New Beauty. The Acupressure Facelift. The APA Style of Documentation, A Pocket Guide. And I'll go through these again. Oh, I have a visitor's guide from Charleston, South Carolina. Hmm, maybe I should keep that since we're moving down there. Hmm, maybe I'll keep that. I think I'll keep that, guys. Sorry. Bad Girls of the Bible, Liz Curtis Higgs, Bad Girls, Lucy, I'm innocent. All right. One more time through the dollar books, just so you, in case you miss something. Bad Girls of the Bibles, the APA style of documentation, Lindsay Wagner, Peace Kills. Anyway, you want the bad girls, Dorney? Dorney. If you put it in the chat, you buy it. It's like if you break it, you buy it. <laughs> it's your time. Nature's Cures. The right words at the right time. Soulmates. Fifty Shades of Grey. A Woman's Guide to Weight Loss. And Joyce Meyer. Carrie, I know. I she I was I shielded you growing up. You want Fifty Shades, Jay? You got it. Um. Is that your mother, Carrie? Is Lucy, Lucy, are you Carrie's mother? I didn't know that was your mom. Why are you yelling at me, Lucy? <laughs> All right, so the next couple of books, guys, I got to get a little bit more for. Um, I'll only take two for this. This might be worth something, but it's got a poor spine. Um, it's called Options. It's Shakespeare. Um, I think it's... No, I'm sorry. It's not Shakespeare. It's O. Henry. It's, it's by O. Henry. Um, oh, you're, oh, Lucy. Oh, Wendy. Hi, Wendy, honey. 
Oh, sisters. 1909. So it's a little rough for 1909, but it's a hundred. Somebody help me with the math. It's a hundred and fifteen fourteen years old. Sisters from another mister. I mean, there's no loose pages, but the spine is poor on this. Nineteen oh nine, two bucks if anybody wants it. I'm gonna pass on the savings to you guys. Two dollars if anybody wants it. Options by O. Henry. All right. All right, Jay, you got it. Now, this next one, I really wish it wasn't written in the way it's written in. But, yes. Um, I'm, I'm annoyed that somebody wrote all over this. It originally went for 55, 78. It looks like they finally sold it for 18. I have no idea. It was in a storage unit, I think. Um, but I'll do it for three if anybody wants Berry's World. Berry's World. Look it up. I'll tell you what year it is. Just annoying that they wrote. It is really an old type. It's, it's actually really cute. Uh, it is a reprint. It, copyright was originally 1963. So it's a one, two, three, four. It's a fifth edition, just FYI. I know, right? But it's got cartoon captions in here from the 60s. It's cute. I just hope I live long enough to see total annihilation. Wow. This 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 could actually is this it's funny. It's actually pretty funny. It actually could fit in right now. Hmm. All right, nobody wants it. Okay, good. I'm keeping it. <laughs> All right. The next one, this does not have a dust jacket. I know it comes with the dust jacket. I've sold these before. It's the Polar Express. Um, it's a nice copy, though. It's just a nice copy without the dust jacket of the Polar Express. You know, you probably could gift it if you really wanted to. Um, 1985. It's an eighth. Eighth printing, 1985. But it is a nice book. I'll do it for $2. $2 on the Polar Express, if anybody wants. Oh, Jay's going to take that. Let me put that over here. All right. And then the last one I have, it's a train a train the spine is bound with this um it's just a piece of um i think dorney you want it honey all right i'm gonna sell dorney the polar express for two dollars so a lot of times when they bind these books um, they just put this kind of paper on it. When did I turn into J? No. No, nobody called you J. No, J took the one before you, honey. Um, so it is a little loose. It's a stapled binding. It's Denver, South Park, and, and Pacific. It's an abridged edition of Pictorial. Um, it is trains, and it's a beautiful train book with a lot of, I'm going to do $4 on this one if anybody's interested in this, um, and I'll give you the year on it. It's nice even if you just want to gift a, a train person this. 
This is 1986, uh, published by the Tro Bridge Press. So copyright 1959 was by the Rocky Mountain Railroad Club. So that was the original. Carrie, you want the train one for four? All right, we're so selling this one to Carrie for four. Thank you, Carrie. All right. All right, so Carrie's going to get that one. And then the last book. All right, I know this book. This this is a this is a collector's book. Um It's called Out of the Wilderness. I I can't remember. I can't remember if these had a dust jacket or not. I've sold this book once or twice before when I was heavily into books. This if you found this book, you lucked out. It, it, I, I, back in the day, you probably could get a really nice penny for it. I don't know today. I haven't really done books. Now, I will tell you, the, the, the end pages at the top here are a little rough. To Bob, Christmas, 1966, Love, Sally. So there is a signed dedication on the inside. It is a book from 1966, which means it's 57 years old, because I know it because it's the year I'm born. Um, and it's also based on Long Island. That's why I used to find this book on Long Island. And I think the first one I got was probably from the guy who worked at Grumman. Um, because he had a lot of these unique and rare different books. Um, yeah, nice $40 book for Carrie. Schreiker, what do you think, Schreiker? I don't know. I'm, I'm concerned about the condition on this just because the end pages are not great. Um, Periwinkle, I didn't even give you a price yet. <laughs> I didn't even give you a price yet. So it's Walter K. Earl, E-A-R-L-E, -E, Out of the Wilderness. Here it is. Um, <clears throat> but Periwinkle, I'll start it at two. If nobody else bids, you can have it. Um, 1966 out of the wilderness and i'll start it at two perry if, if nobody else bids it's yours just to be aware of the um the page ends here the corners the corners aren't great that's the only thing that really disappoints me but it's it's still it's it, you'll still make money on it <laughs> And if nobody else wants it, we'll count it down to Periwinkle. It's fine. Thank you, Karen. Polar Express went to Dorney. Okay. All right, if no, there's no other interest, we're going to sell it. Periwinkle, you're going to make yourself a little penny on this one, I'm sure. And again, it's been a few years um, since I've sold one, but I don't know where I got this one from. It must have been, I'm not sure. Maybe the guy from the train unit maybe had this. All right, we're sold. Nice local history book. Yeah, and and like I said, I had gotten one years ago from the guy who worked at Grumman. And that 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 story, that wasn't even a storage unit. It was a house. That was such a home run for me, that house. Oh, my God. Talk about selling, you know, books selling for hundreds of dollars. Um, Periwinkle, $2. All right, sweetheart. All right, last call. Nobody wants any of the other ones for a dollar. All right.
All right, a couple more for a dollar if anybody's interested in um, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. It's a scholastic book. Jeff Foxworthy, no shirt, no shoes, no problem. Dr. Atkins, New Diet Revolution. There's a hardcover novel called Saved. Did you, Carrie? Yes, I think you told me that before. Um, Kate Morgan Roth saved and then the last one <laughs> wow how old is this this old this book is old old as far as okay so there is a sign dedication in here it's a first first sign because i actually this was old this was old from Abe's books. I'm going to tell you when this was done. I don't even know where this book came from. It got, obviously got moved here from Long Island. Um, but I have no idea because this is this this research is going way back when. These are how these things just slip through the cracks. <laughs> but it does um, right from the heart. Here it is. John Stewart. There's your sign dedication. Here is, you've got some staining on the cover. And um, it's, a, it's an interesting book. I'll just say that. It's definitely an interesting book. So did my dad. Yes, we did have the conversation. So... Um, Yeah, this is definitely definitely a different type of book. This book is dedicated to Buffy, Mikhail, Jeremy, Amy, and Luke, who suffered through countless years of me staring off into space. Carrie, you want it? I, we're going to sell it to Carrie. Thank you, Carrie. All right, Carrie. You got it, girl. All right. Oh, Periwinkle. <laughs> All right, Periwinkle. <laughs> I didn't know anybody else was in. I didn't know anybody else was in. Was it bin? All right, we put it up as a bin, did we? Okay. All right, I didn't know. No worries. Sorry. Flipping, you're in the wrong chat. She's yelling bingo. <laughs> All right. Are we selling it as a buy it now? Are we auctioning it off, Carrie? Make up your mind. <laughs> Carrie says five. And then we're going to do four more books, and then we'll go back to some other stuff. I got four more sitting here. I didn't know what you put in the chat. Looks like a bit off now. <laughs> All right, five dollars to carry. Periwinkle. It's okay. It's all good. I'll leave the research in here. It's old. The research is definitely old in here. I can't find a date. I can't see a date on here, but I'll leave it in here. I have no idea. This is going back a ways. But I will leave it in here. I, I, I don't know if it stands today. But you do have the you do have the sign dedication in here, which is nice. Now, KK's writing bingo in here. KK, you guys are in the wrong chat. <laughs> and guys, uh, KK also does bingo on Wednesday nights if you guys want to go over and hang with KK tomorrow night. <laughs> Flippin's like, sorry. 
All right, we're going to sell it to Carrie. Thank you, guys. All right. Um, I got four more. All right, these will do all at a dollar. One dollar, buy it now. One dollar, buy it now. Here we go. Leadership on the line. Staying alive through the dangers of leading. My War, Andy Rooney. These are in pretty, pretty good condition. I don't know what they sell for. Some of them, they look like they're, you know, really nice books. And then you go and you go to list them and, they, you know, they're only a couple of bucks. But um, they are all in nice condition. So Molly Moore, A Woman at War. Margo, you want my war? Randy Rooney? All right. Sold to Margo. My war sold to Margo. All right. And this one is Woman at War. Molly Moore. Storming Kuwait with the U.S. Marines. That's what this is about. 1993. First, first. And then we have a Tom Brokaw, The Greatest Generation. You want that one too? You want the other war one? You got it, Margo. All right, Margo is going to take the Molly Moore as well. All right, so the war books go. Got it, Margo. Got it, honey. All right, and this last one, The Greatest Generation, Tom Brokaw. All right. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. I have this. Um, this is a Lemax Village Collection. Just because of the size of it, it's got to get into a box. Let me just see what the measurement is on this. Yeah, it can't go in anything smaller than like a 14. Actually, a 14. Yeah. All right. So, I don't know. Ten bucks if anybody wants it. It's... Um, this is what it is. It's um, mountains. It's the village landscape, the mountains. It's this piece here. Lemax Village Collection. Jay, I'm not sure what that is. I think Jay's got a typo in there. Jay, let us know, honey. Did you want a book or did you want this? $10 on this on the buy it now if somebody wants it. Jay, I think you got your caps lock on. Is that a 10? All right, we're going to sell it to Jay. That's <laughs> that's that's the caps lock. <laughs> that's the caps lock. He put it in twice, Carrie. I'm going to take it. He's, he's had the shift on, um, but I'm going to take it because I knew what he meant. <laughs> he put it in there twice. All right. Thank you, Jay. <laughs> All right. Jay. <laughs> All right, I got another purse here. This is a Fendi. Let me see. It says Fendi made in Italy. I'm a little, hmm, uh, I don't know about this one. I don't know. I don't know Fendi. It's a vintage brand, isn't it? I don't know. Are they still around Fendi? Purses and me are not great, guys. I don't know. 
Where's Ozma? Is Ozma here? She would know. Ozma, what do you think? Jay was really excited. <laughs> Ozma, what do you think? Where's Ozma? I was told always to look at the stitching. That's one thing Donna used to say. T, look at the stitching. Yeah, I don't think so. All right, five bucks. Five bucks. Who wants it? Five dollars, you take a chance because I don't think so. I, I, I am leading myself to believe not. Just, just because. All right, Pam, it's yours. All right. All right, J. I put J one J. Now I was confused. J won the mountains. <laughs> oh my God, Lee Max. See what I do when Robbie's not here. <laughs> All right, this is a nice little bucket satchel bag. Um, Although, I don't know. Let's see. This goes here, maybe? Oh, I'm all right. No. Yeah, you might have to reinforce the, the one band on here. I don't know. But it's just a cute little... I don't think it's anything tremendous. Carlos by Carlos Santana. That's what it says on both tags in the bag. Carlos by Carlos Santana. It's got two tickets in here. Two... two um, You see it, Carlos Santana. It's just a nice bucket bag. See how big it's nice? It's red inside. It's just really cute. Here's the bottom. I think maybe this might have had a strap. But because it's got this on the inside, but there is no strap. But um, I don't know. Seven dollars if somebody wants it. Seven dollars. Hi, Mary. How are you, sweetheart? Margo, you want it, sweetie? All right, you got it. Okay. I love this bag. I love this bag, especially for right now. Especially for right now. It needs a little bit of leather cleaner. And guys, I'm going to start this a little bit higher, I think. Because I think it's real. I really, yeah, it's definitely real. It's a fossil. It It's perfect for this weather too with the orange there's your fossil i'll show your inside of your bag as well here is this and the inside tag i think it's real i mean if someone wants to doubt me that's fine but i think it's so pretty I'm going to bid on this, and I'm going to call it a $10 start. It is pre-owned, though. I will tell you it is pre-owned. I don't really see any major issues. The inside, I'll bring the inside. Oh, it doesn't come out like the way it should. All right, the inside is really clean. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it on the inside. The outside, you will need a little bit of leather cleaner or a little bit of rubbing you can see that whoops see these down no big deal i didn't even show them um you've got one little mark here that looks like a pen and then the front here has a little bit of wear right there if you can see it 
but it's a beautiful bag. I love the feel of it. I love the color of it. Um, really nice for this time of year. Carrie is out. Margo's at 18. Thank you, guys. Pam, let us know. And if Pam is out, we're going to just can't, we're just going to, we're just going to sell it to Marco. If there's no other interest, somebody needs to put 19 in the, in the chat or we'll sell it to Marco. Remember, we don't have any bid increments. Um, we don't have any bid increments tonight. So um, even the bottom is in, in fit. All right, Pam is out. All right, we're going to sell it to Margo. What did she get it for? Margo, that's an awesome price. All right, the fossil bid. $18. It's a beautiful bag. It really is. Okay, this bag is a nine west. And it's, I don't know, is there such thing as a vintage nine west? It seems very different to me, but it could be just me. I don't like the condition of it, though. I don't like the condition of it, though. Mm. No, no, I don't like this big. I don't like the condition. Um, I'm going to send it to KK. KK does, KK fixes. I send her purses like this all the time because she does blings them up and stuff. But, I mean, the... Um, the strap is really poor on this. Yeah, yeah. I see. I, I just want you guys to see. Like, I, I wouldn't sell it to you guys. See it? See how bad that is? Yeah. And I just there's something about the feeling of this. Yeah, we're gonna. We're not gonna. Well, I'll send that at some point to KK. All right. Let's see what this one is. Marlo. Marlo. Handbags and accessories. All right, let's see this genuine leather. Let's see. Genuine leather with man made trim, made in China. So I don't know about this one either, guys. But I'll show you the name on it. China. China. Now, I don't doubt. And maybe if it's it's um, also got a strap um, adjustment as well. Um, maybe if it's vintage, it's okay that it's made in China. I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe Marlowe bags are made in China. I don't know who Marlowe is. I mean, is it Marlowe Thomas? I don't know. But um, if somebody want it, we'll... Um, Six bucks. We'll do six on this. Six dollar. Six dollar. Six dollar. Six dollar. Margo, Carrie. Carrie wants it. All right, Carrie. It's yours, honey. 
This one, we're going to bid on this one. Warrior Creek. Just feels nice. It's definitely leather. I don't even have to. I don't even. I, it's not even a question. It's not. It's, it's definitely soft leather. It's called Warrior Creek. It's got one zipper here, one pouch here, and up here. It's almost it's almost like a biker chicks <laughs> thing, but I would still use it. I like it. It's nice. Um, we'll we'll do it as an auction with a five dollar start. Warrior Creek. I'll show you the name. Thank you, Periwinkle. Yeah, it feels really nice, Ozma. Nice leather on this. Kevin, how are you, hon? Osma is out. Pam comes in for 12. Good, honey. Good to see you. All right, Kevin is out. We're going to sell it to Margo. Everybody out and out. I think Pam. Pam, pay attention. <laughs> She's over there playing bingo. <laughs> Pam, you're not winning any money over there, so you can't bring it back over here to spend. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. All right, Margo's going to be out. Dang it, Pam. <laughs> We're going to sell it to Pam at 13. Yeah. Thank you, Pam. All right, who's familiar with Betsy Johnson? Did she make this called Betsy Ville, or is this like a knockoff brand? Betsy Ville. And you got a little bit, it's not dry rotted. Oh no, it's just staining. Oh, I got it. Oh, it comes off. It comes off, whatever it is. It's something white in here. All right, it's, it's off. Um, this is Betsy Johnson, or it's a knockoff, which is yes, yes and yes, Betsy, S-E-Y, ah, okay, all right, 
maybe somebody wants it anyway. It's just cute. It's a little, um, it says Betsyville there. A little bit of scratching on that, but I don't know. It's Betsy Johnson. Oh, it's Betsy Johnson. Okay. There's the inside. And then there is um, a zippered pouch in the back. Oh, and there's a receipt in the bag. Let's see what the receipt says. Whatever it is, it's not for this. It's some kind of gum or something. Seven twenty nine. Oh, it's my wedding anniversary. All right. But then you've got that. You've got these little Betsyville um, things on here. Who wants it for five dollars? Buy it now. Five dollars. There is some scratching on the um, on the bling. We'll just say scratching on the bling. All right, Osma, you can have it. All right. Thank you, guys. All right, this is going to be the last purse for the night. And then I have more. I think this is a Steve Madden. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, again, this might be vintage. I don't know. I'm not a great purse person. Like, I don't know. It says Stephen on the, um, the hang here Stephen and then the inside says Stephen here it's like a a paisley or some flower design on the inside I, I again oh there's another receipt in the bag somebody likes gum this is back from November. I hope the gum's not in here. November of last year. It's a year old. No, it's not. There's no gum. There's no gum. Just heard the weirdest noise. All right. So I don't know what this Steve means. There's a little um, tassel y thing here. Um, zipper here. It is definitely pre-owned, but it's nice condition, and it could be, it could be vintage, because this is the pattern on the inside. But I don't know. You guys tell me. You wanna? Should we do a buy it now, or should we auction it? What do you think? Is there any interest in it? Got a little, little thingy here. Now, where did I get? Oh, my pen must be giving me a problem. Oh, no. All right, Margo wants to start it at 7. Thank you, Margo. And it's got a little snap there. And again, it's got the inside pocket that says Stephen on it. It's got a couple of different um, zippered pouches in here. And it's, um, it's like this multicolored on the side and on the handle. All right, if there's no other interest, we'll sell it to Margo. It's a cute bag, Margo. Definitely a cute bag. Margo likes her purses. And actually, I said I, there's one other one I'll, I'll I'll look show you guys here, and then we'll call it on the purses. I put my pen down, and I really got to throw it away because it's um.
it's leaking on my hands and I don't like like that. Sure. Where the heck did I put my my pen? All right. All right, that's going to Marco. That was the Steven. The Steven. Okay. So this is just a little change purse with the kiss lock. It probably has to be roughed up a little bit. It's vintage. It's made in Taiwan. I just thought it was cute um, with the little kiss lock. And it has this um, Roger Gimbal accessories. Man-made material made in Taiwan. If you want to see that. It's clean inside. Doesn't look like it's really ever been used. And if it has, it's probably lightly used. Hi, truly amazing. Um, but it's just a little change purse. Got a little zipper pouch on the outside. Again, clean inside. Don't see any issues with it. Um, it probably just needs a little wiping up here around. Shine it up a little bit. But... How about four bucks? Let's do four dollars. Carrie, you want it, honey? All right, Carrie for four. Thank you, Carrie. Okay. Um. You guys want any jewelry or you want more clothes or you want records I know jewelry is not really your thing these days What do you guys think? I have a I have a few pieces of jewelry here if you guys are interested. Maybe do a little lot of jewelry, a little costume lot, maybe. I'll switch over. I'll switch over my camera. Hmm. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Let me switch my camera over. Just throw a few pieces of jewelry down on the table. See if you guys have any interest in this. Just so I can get it off my desk. I need to clean my desk. What else do I have here? I think this... This might have been 14 karat gold plated or gold filled. I don't remember. Let me look. It's a 14 karat gold plated bracelet in this lot, just FYI. And then the bracelet I was looking at earlier that had a 
uh, swan or a dove on it. And I think that's an Avon with the swan, right? It's, I think that would be Avon. Then this one is tarnished, but I'm going to throw it in anyway. So you're going to get three bracelets and I'm going to, uh, this is the one that's 14 karat gold plated. It's a nice little thick piece. Has anyone seen Marilyn? Marilyn um, Gotti or Marilyn Blatt? Marilyn Blatt I've seen. She's over on whatnot. She's always over on whatnot. I don't think she's coming. Oh, no, she came into my record. Yeah, that was whatnot. I was going to say, oh, she was in my record show on Sunday, but that was whatnot. If that's who you're talking about, Marilyn Blatt. Is that who you're talking about, Marilyn Blatt? Yeah, some people just got sucked into whatnot and they're not coming back to YouTube. <laughs> All right, let me switch my camera over and see if anybody wants this. Yeah, yeah, she's she's around. She's just on whatnot. That's all. But Rummage is still hanging out with us. Yeah, Mama Beth says, yep, always and whatnot. <laughs> All right. All right, so this is the 14 karat gold filled bracelet. No, gold plated. Sorry, gold plate. I don't. I can multicast on all platforms. All right. Then this is the one that has like the Avon sign on it. Let's see if I can show it to you guys. I don't know if you'll be able to see it there. And this one, like I said, this one's tarnished. I'm not sure that it can be cleaned up, but I'm going to put it in the lot anyway. This here is like a little, a little duck or dove. It is a pin. Uh, let me see if there's a mark on this. I forgot to check to see if there was anything marked. No, I do not see a mark on this. I do see some tarnishing on the back of this one, though, too. But we're going to put it in there. I do what not, but just for my postcard addiction. I didn't know you had a postcard addiction. I didn't know that. Oh, which reminds me, I did have some ephemera I was originally going to bring tonight, and I forgot. And I'm not going to go put it together now. But. All right. Hang out down there sometimes, too. All right, let's do all these together. All right, this is a necklace. This one, I don't think it's anything. I think it's just a piece of costume. Here's what it looks like. We'll put that in there as well. This is this. It's just multicolor. I think it's just plastic. I don't think it's stone or anything like that. Could be vintage. Did come from a vintage jewelry lot, but we'll put that in there. Here's a, another set of, these could be painted pearls. I think these are pearls um, dyed, dyed or some variation thereof, but we'll put those in there as well. Talk to text. Yeah. All right. And this is another kind of necklace here. So you're going to get one, two, three, four necklaces, three bracelets, and the dove pin. Four necklaces. 
three bracelets, and the pin. Four, three, and one. How about 10 bucks? It's a little more than a dollar each. Mama Beth, you want it for 10? Sold to Mama Beth. Yes, Carrie. Yes. $10. Buy it now. Thank you. Thank you, Mama Beth. That's how we roll here. All right. Guys, earrings, cloisonne, pearl, just a mixture of earrings on this card. Um, all pierced. Here they are on the back. They're all pierced, all with their things. So you've got a mixture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven earrings there. Here's another card of earrings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve on there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 19 pairs of earrings. Let me make sure I don't have any more hanging around here. Let me make sure. Actually, I have this pair. I'm not sure why it says butterfly. They're in this little thing. I think the posts are missing on it. Uh, they look like little sapphires. I'm not sure if they are. Just putting that out there. But we'll make it 20 pairs of earrings. I want to just make sure I don't have any other earrings laying around here that I can throw in for you guys. Because I'm really down to no jewelry, which is fine with me. Which honestly is very fine with me. All right. So again, 20 pairs. These are all definitely like vintage from the 80s with the cloisonne and the different ones, the little button ones with all the colors and everything. This may or may not be bake lighter plastic. You guys will have to figure that one out. Um, 20 pairs of earrings. How about 20 bucks? Buy it now. $20. First person to put 20 in the chat. They're yours. All right, nobody wants them. All right, T's going to have to list them on Macari or Poshmark. Maybe Posh. They're small enough. I got to keep small stuff anyway. Asma, Asma, I don't have enough to do a 24-hour marathon anymore. <laughs> I don't have enough stuff anymore. I sold so much stuff to you guys, especially to my, shout out to my big buyers. Shout out to my big buyers, Gaylene, Junebug, Jay, 
Who did I forget? Forgot somebody. They'll kill me. Pam! <laughs> um, yeah, so Diecast is gone. G.I. Joe is gone. Star Wars is gone. All the CDs are gone. I do have games left. I'll bring games. I'll bring games when I come back. I can't bring games now. I don't, I, it doesn't matter. I can't bring the games now. I'll bring them when I come back. Um, and there's some miscellaneous few pieces. Sports is pretty gone. Like I said, I have a couple of bats and balls, signed helmet, nothing crazy, and clothes. Tons of clothes. It's the only thing I need now. Um, T, do a 24 and sell out my house. She picker! Shout out to Sheep Picker too. Yay. <laughs> Another big buyer. Yes. We like big buyers and we cannot lie, right, Dawn? For sure. All right. Guys, so here's the deal. For those of you who came in late, who don't know what's going on, I'm going to Pennsylvania tomorrow to Mr. Bizelot's warehouse. We will be selling. Y2K clothing, hip hop, great stuff. I mean, there's even some other stuff there, like great some stuff for Christmas gifts, like packages of underwear and socks, all new with tags, all old stock. Um, there's Dickies. Um, if anybody late, late, late. If anybody, anybody needs their stuff before November 1st and you want me to send you an invoice, like Margo, I know now you're up over your 40. You weren't before. It's why you didn't get an invoice. If you want your stuff but before November 1st, then just let me know. And I'll put it in a box and I'll ship it from Pennsylvania. We're taking the van anyway. So it's not going to be difficult for me to do that. If there's anybody else who needs their stuff before November 1st, let me know either now in the chat or send me a text or an email. And um, I'll take it with me to PA and I'll ship it from there. Otherwise, your stuff will not get shipped until November 1st. FYI, if it went out today, it went out today. It means you're paid or maybe you didn't, but I know who you are and I can find you. <laughs> KK. All right, Marco. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay. Um, I will be invoicing you guys while I'm away. Um, you know, uh, always remember to, on my invoices, just an FYI. For those of you, a couple of things, a few things, okay? Number one, I always check the two boxes. I don't expect you guys to give me a tip, although I appreciate when you do because it does help with the shipping. But you're under no obligation. I don't keep track to know who does and who doesn't. Well, that's not really true. Shout out to Moses. Thank you. You always give me a tip. Um, can I have my stuff by October 12th? No, you cannot. <laughs> um, all right, Pam. Um, thank you, Periwinkle. I always check off the box to make payments. So if you guys need to combine, you know, maybe you want to use your PayPal balance and you want to put the rest on a credit card or you want to pay a certain amount from a, one credit card and something from uh, a checking account or whatever. I don't see any of that. Like, I don't see, ooh, this one paid with three different cards. I don't see, I just see that the bill is paid. So if you guys need to make that kind of payments, I'm going to probably invoice you. Also, the other thing with the invoices, I have no control over PayPal. Um, I, I think Junebug, and I'm not calling Junebug out, um, we messed up something with her thing. She's like, T, I got an invoice. Like, I had a live invoice still there. Every few days, PayPal automatically sends out reminders. I don't know how to change the setting. If you guys get reminders, it's not always me being a pest. Sometimes it might be. You never know. Like, I sent three out today um, to people that are ready. 
Um, no, the bag lady, you, you didn't hit 40, but I can send you an invoice if you want me to. I have it ready. It's in queue. If you want your stuff, just let me know. Um, oh, Pat D's is on. All right, guys. Go over and see my friend Pat D's. Guys, email me, text me, call me, whatever's easier. If you need your stuff, I'll bring it with me to PA, and I'll ship it out there. Um, if not, my shipping will go out November. When we come back November 1st for a couple of days, I'll get the rest shipped out then, um, unless you really want it. But I will be invoicing you if you fit 40 at this point. I will invoice you. You pay when you can. I do appreciate it. If you didn't hit $40 yet, you have no worries. It'll sit here till I get back auctioning again. Or if you need it and you want to pay shipping again, just let me know. Guys, love and respect. Love you guys. Have a great night. Go over and see my friend Pat D's on Whatnot. Don't forget, I'll be on Whatnot every day, three times a day for the next three weeks. Come in and see me, and we'll see you. Have a great night, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.